Today we're going to be working with a faucet that is specifically designed for this vessel sink right here. This is a vessel sink. It sits on top of your countertop. And we're going to be putting in this uh, faucet today. It's relatively easy. I know you can do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And this is the only nut that holds it on. We're going to drill a hole through the countertop wood. That nut's going to hold it on. we got some extra parts here for later. I'm not going to need that, but it came with this Glacier Bay Vessel Bath Faucet Bathroom. It's basically for the bathroom. And um, for only it only works usually for a vessel sink. And here's what we're going to use to cut the hole through our wood countertop. Now we're going to cut a hole right there. We're going to cut a hole right there, and that's where the sink, uh, faucet's going to be. Now you can also put, uh, you can buy a different type of faucet and put it in the wall. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to destroy the wall. We're just going to put this in the countertop and make it, this will be the easiest way to do it. These are the tools you're going to need. Uh, as you can see, you're going to need a drill, uh, channel locks, and um, so we've already, so we've drilled the hole through the countertop and we're going to just drop the faucet down through the hole. As you can see, we're just dropping it through. It's got a rubber seal right there. You can see it's got a rubber seal which will help prevent any leaks. That's good. And all we have is one little nut on the bottom. One nut, we're going to hand tighten it first and then we'll use our channel locks there to uh, make it a little bit more tighter. You don't have to get it too tight, just make it firm. So here we go. All you do is put this uh, nut on here. As you can see, this is a very simple job. You can do it. And I mean, you may need you may need some help uh, drilling a hole through if you have granite countertop, or you may need some uh, help drilling a hole through the granite countertop. That would be difficult. If you had a granite countertop, uh, you'd probably need a professional to drill the hole through there. But once you got the hole in there, boom! Make sure you drill the hole per right too, because you cannot make the hole too big and it cannot be too small. That the hole has to be drilled at the perfect size. Now you use your channel locks or any type of crescent uh, crescent wrench, a big crescent wrench. You just tighten it up a little bit more, firm, but not too tight. We never want to over tighten things and then we start breaking, stop stripping and breaking. So just get it nice and firm. As you can see, this, has, this, this faucet is really going to be an easy job because it's got long hoses, which are just going to hook up to our water line hoses. As you see, one line is going to be for the hot. You see the red line down there? The red, the red hose is the hot. And of course, there you have a red mark on the hose. So all you have to do is hook, hook that up to the red and the other one up to the blue. As you can see, it's a pretty simple job, huh? And I also have a video on how I glued the vessel sink into place if you want to check out my videos on plumbing. And now you have to put a little Teflon tape on here. These are, these are shark bite fittings. They're really uh, as the valves. The valves are actually made by Shark Bite, which is another really easy product to use. It just slips on the tubing. So anyhow, you put a little Teflon tape around the threads, and then you, all you do is you uh, screw those on with your your wrench, and then when you tighten them up, you, then you turn your valves on and you look, you check for leaks. So here we are checking for leaks. We turn the valve on. The water is now to the sink, you just rub your finger along the bottom. If there's no water there, there's no leak. If there's a little bit of leak, you just gently tighten it a little bit more. Just check for leaks everywhere. As you can see, this job was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yes. Now I do, have, like I said before, I have a video showing how I glued the vessel sink into place onto the wood cabinet, and I have a video on how we can water seal this wood countertop. I like the wood countertop but it has to be water sealed. And this, and also if you're going to get a, look for a, uh, a cabinet, you're going to have to get a cabinet that's a little lower than your normal cabinet because the vessel sinks sit up a little bit. So this cabinet is perfect. It sits a little lower than your normal bathroom sink cabinet would. And uh, so these are factors you have to put in. Your cabinet has to be a little lower than normal. If you're going to go with the vessel sink, um, I have a video to show you how to glue it in place and then you can see how easy this was. This was really easy. Drill a hole, tighten a nut, wham bam, thank you ma'am. It was pretty easy. What do you think?
Good luck on your project.